Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 50 in chapter 21. Chapter 21 is about electric field dense and electric charge. So there you can see we have a thin glass rod and this is semicircle. The radius is R. The top side is with the positive charge, bottom side with negative charge. And then we need to find the electric field dense at the position P, right? So in this case, we can see, first of all, we consider a small fraction at the top side. And the charge this small fraction carries can be write as lambda r d theta. Lambda is the density. And you can see r theta, r d theta is just the length for this arc, right? For this small fraction of arc, so we call it r d theta. So the charge it carries is dq. And then the distance from this fraction to the position P is r. Therefore, we can get the magnitude of this electric field dense for this small fraction dE as dq divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r squared. Agree? And import the dq inside. We, get, we can simplify the fraction electric magnitude as this term. And because this is a mirror symmetry, so for the bottom side, you can see the magnitude of the electric field is equals, because this is a mirror symmetry, the charge it carries equals and the distance from the, this small fraction to the position P equals. So this one, we get the electric field as magnitude for a small fraction dE as this term. And then we can consider for the upside, it is a positive charge. So electric field is radically outward pointing to this direction. And also for the bottom side, it is a negative charge. Electric field is pointing to in radically inward right at this direction. And this is two vectors. We need to get the addition for these two vectors. So very straightforward, we usually project these two vector vectors in X component and Y component. You can see we project this vector in X component DE cosine theta, in Y component DE sine theta. So this vector cancels with this vector. Because they are equal in the magnitude but opposite in directions. So only survival term is this one, D is sine theta and D is sine theta, right? So we can see at the Y component the net uh magnet the net electric field for this magnitude fraction is two times D E sine theta. Right? And then we input the D E inside. It looks like this uh, equation. And then we can do integral for the y component for the net electric field magnitude. So it is from the zero, from the x component to the y component, from x axis to the y axis. So the theta is from zero to pi over two, half of the pi. And do the integral, we get answer zero. And the x component, the net electric field is equal equals to zero. As we said, they are cancelled. Therefore, we can write the net electric field in vector format. The magnitude is this one and it pointing negative y component, right? Pointing to negative y axis. So add the negative size here. The next one, we need to determine the acceleration for an electron placed at the location P. So this is, we just get electric field dense. And if this is electrons, that means this carry one fundamental negative charge, agree? So negative force just come from the electric force, the charge times the electric field dense. For electrons, it carry one negative fundamental charge, negative E, and times the electric field dense equals the mass times acceleration. This is Newton's second law. Net force equals to mass times acceleration. 
So from this equation, we can get the function for acceleration. You can see then we input the e inside. E is a vector, so we put it inside. We get a function for acceleration. Acceleration is also a vector. It just in the y component, right? It just has a y component. So we input all the known quantities about the e mass lambda naught epsilon naught r. We get the answer there. Thank you.